I smell poppers and I hear tambourines. This is Mike Diamond in front of the Monster Nightclub in New York City on the scene for Below Tea at the Monster, a tea dance with Greg Scarnici, DJ Formica, and the legendary Robin Bird. Are you a trust fund baby or a French bulldog? Who knows? It's the West Village. Anything could happen. So, you got a bladder full of urine, do you? <laughs> yes, I do. I got to take a leak. But let's make this quick. Greg Scarnici, you are the host of this debacle evening. No, a Robin Bird is the host. I'm the DJ with... Oh, I'm so sorry. Ex-mistress Formica. Below Tea is a party. It's like a tea dance party once a month, last Sunday of the month at the Monster. And it's basically a classic disco tea dance. Well, my viewership is pretty young. Can you explain to them what a tea dance is? A tea dance is when a bunch of gay men get out around happy hour, and instead of just hanging out at the bar, they dance and get their groove on and have a good time. <laughs> the Monster is, yeah, a legendary club here in New York City. Everybody likes it because upstairs is a piano bar where you can come and... It's the epicenter of bad cabaret singers. Well, you know what? They get some really amazing guys that have incredible voices. But if yeah. that's not your thing, there if that's not your thing, there's yeah. a disco in the basement. Thus yeah. we call this party Below Tea yeah. because it's in the basement. So yeah, like the monster in the West Village has been the site of so many iconic nervous breakdowns and drunken rampages. Hi, what's your name? Chris. I notice you're a dude with eyeliner on. I am. Okay, Chris, tell me what's going on tonight. Well, we are celebrating our cast party for the end of our run here in New York City of a show that we're doing. What is that show? It's called Snow White and the Seven Bottoms. Okie dokie. Well, it's You're clearly one of the bottoms. Uh, well, yes. What are the bottoms like? Sloppy, drippy? No, actually, we pushy, are greedy. Uh, j uh, gay uh, legends of yore. So we have Cher and Carol Channing and Ethel Merman and... And their uh, bottoms? Yes, but okay. they're actually puppets. Okay. They're drag queen puppets. Do you like disco? I love disco. It's It was built on fun, and everyone has fun when listen to it. doesn't matter how old or young you are, what decade you're born in. Yeah, like the 90s, 80s, born in the 80s. Born in the 80s. <laughs> it's the Blue Light Special here with Robin Bird. You are the hostess tonight, Robin Bird. Tell me about with this party. the hostess? Yes. Well, the last Sunday of every month so far, so far, cross your fingers, this is my last, this is my second Sunday with mm -hmm. Scarnici and Formica. And I mean, we're having so much fun because the, you know, the 70s, do you remember the 70s? No. Think back. You weren't, yeah, you weren't don't, then. Don't yeah. you look at my crow's feet when you say that. Okay, the 70s. The 70s. The 70s rocked, my darling. And and from what we all remember was the best music around. Mm -hmm. Disco. And disco. And that's when people danced mm -hmm. and danced. And and they remembered to that dance. That could have been the Coke, honey. <laughs> yeah. Or the Ludes. Honest. Yeah, the Ludes. <laughs> what is the crowd like here? Um, it's mixed crowd. It's very diverse. We have a lot of the... Old, well, I'm not going to say the old timers because we're not old, but we raised... They down. heard about it on the wireless and came running down. <laughs> Hello. We're, we're swimming now. <laughs> so, my little angelfish, tell me about disco and why it keeps on going. You know what? I think disco is one of the last living, really great, happy dance music. I mean, all the disco songs are about love and dancing, getting together and being freaky. You know, it's it's just fun. Like a free time. It's yeah, it's fun. You know, okay. and and I think a lot of us who miss the '70s want to reminisce about those times when gay nightlife was fun and wild and sexually free. And right. you know, you could sniff coke off someone's ass and dance to uh, La yeah. Freak. I really think it's like one of the coolest last bars in you know with a dance floor this size. In the West Village. Yeah. It's the last one of its kind. I love the basement. It's a great vibe down here. The people that run it are super nice and sweet, you know, and, and it's easy. And people come and they have fun. There's never drama, never fights, never, you know, no bullshit, baby. Yeah. Just disco. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all really have to understand something about this place. It has been here for over 30 years, and I've been coming here since I came from Panama. Really? News to you. I just turned 60 last Sunday, October 19th. Happy birthday. And I came back from Florida. You see the sunburn. But I, yeah. I thought it was Ash Wednesday, I swear to God. Uh, no, 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 no. No Ash Wednesday. No Ash Wednesday. No Ash Wednesday. Claro que sí, por favor, porque así somos nosotros. Oh, so you're Cruz, right? Exactamente. No, no, no. Hush, hush, hush. Please hush. Please hush and other. 
Are you getting this? Please hush and understand this. I don't care what the fuck you did. Bleep. What I'm saying is this. What is your passion? And I will support you along those lines. Ta-da! I, I like a good cucumber salad. Y'all need to catch up because I have fun. That's why I can come here and have Kool-Aid and, and just be still. What's that, like bath salts or some shit? What's Kool-Aid? No. Kool-Aid is Bacardi Claro, Soda Simple, Limon Azucarado, and maybe some Midori. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Let's sing some disco, shall we? How about some um, Peaches and Herb or some Richie family? Let's do it. Reunited and it feels so good, motherfucker. Say, reunited. Way too fast up tempo. Reunited and it feels so good. Motherfucker, say, reunited and it's understood. I think we're keeping this one. <laughs>